In the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean lies Iceland, a lone island only 300 miles wide. A volcanic hotbed, it holds some of the most diverse geological wonders known to mankind. To understand how it formed and the dynamic forces that are shaping this land, scientists are scouring the strange landscape for clues. And the investigation starts here in the southwest of Iceland, the Thingvellir Plain. This broad inland valley runs through the center of Iceland. Giant cracks scar the valley floor, leaving this unusual landscape behind. Geologist Mike Poland believes they're a major clue in the mystery of Iceland's formation. I'm standing in a really spectacular place. There's evidence for volcanic activity all around. This valley is covered in lava, and the plain is being ripped apart. Everywhere I look, there's massive tears in the ground, like this one right here. This crack is getting bigger and bigger every year. In fact, this entire valley is spreading apart at about the same rate that fingernails grow. Now imagine the forces that must be involved to rip the land apart like this. Something powerful is spreading this valley at a rate of one inch a year. A force so immense, it's pulling the entire country apart. But what force on Earth could have such power? In 1912, German climatologist Alfred Wegener found an essential clue. Browsing through maps, he noticed that the great land masses of the Americas and Eurasia appeared to fit together. This observation led Wegener to propose a radical new theory, that these great continents had once been joined together. So some unseen force must have pushed them apart allowing water to rush into the space between them, creating the Atlantic Ocean. It was inspired detective work and a major step forward in the search for what was pulling Iceland apart. But with no method to prove such a force existed, Wegener's theory was ignored for the next 40 years. Then in 1946, New evidence was discovered to support Wegener's ideas. The U.S. Navy, using a technology called sonar imaging, mapped the Atlantic Ocean floor for the first time. The pictures revealed a 10,000-mile network of underwater mountains separated by a giant tear which passes through the center of the Atlantic. Scientists call this the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This huge tear through the Earth's crust is the boundary between the American and Eurasian plates. And the tear runs right through the center of Iceland. I'm actually standing on what's essentially the ocean floor, where the Mid-Atlantic Ridge comes onto land. And it splits the North American plate on this side from the Eurasian plate at this side. And the Mid-Atlantic Ridge starts way south, down by Antarctica, comes all the way up through the Atlantic, and splits this country right into. Scientists suspected this was pushing the continents and Iceland apart. They came up with a theory. Deep below the ocean, convection currents of molten rock tear open the Earth's crust, allowing magma to seep up and push the continents apart. But there was a problem. It was so deep, scientists had no way of proving whether magma was seeping through the crust at the center of the ridge. Until in 1974, Alvin, a human-operated submersible, was launched by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. With its ability to withstand deep sea pressures, scientists could finally travel down to the depths needed to reach the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. It was by examining the tear that runs through the center of this ridge that they spotted the evidence they'd been looking for. Hot volcanic gases billowing into the ocean. 
Finding this told them that the Mid-Atlantic Ridge was highly volcanic and like a giant wedge was capable of spreading great land masses apart. Iceland's cracked Thingvellir Valley is a continuation of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The same process that's pushing America further away from Europe is happening here on land. Finally, here was a force powerful enough to explain why the cracks are getting wider and Iceland is getting bigger. As the, the ridge continues to spread, it's going to add more and more land to Iceland. So in a way, Iceland will, will start getting longer and longer uh, in, in an, in an east-west sense as the plates spread apart from one another. So in a way, Iceland is not getting torn apart so much as it's getting built. The investigation into how Iceland is growing has revealed cracks on the Thingvellir Plain are widening at a rate of one inch a year. And hot gases prove that this spreading force is volcanic, forming the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which cuts right through Iceland. Scientists concluded it's this that's widening the country. Convection currents of hot rock pull the Mid-Atlantic Ridge apart. Magma surges up to fill the cracks, and as it approaches the surface, it cools, hardens, and forms new land. Like a conveyor belt, it continually pushes Iceland apart. But something didn't add up. Why wasn't Iceland at the bottom of the ocean like the rest of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge? There's something strange about the amount of volcanic activity on this island. This is not a normal section of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. There's a tremendous amount of volcanism that's happening in this part of the ridge, as opposed to the ridge that's off in the Atlantic Ocean. The hunt is now on to discover how Iceland rose a mile and a half off the ocean floor and became the biggest volcanic island in the world. Geologists are searching for what has helped push Iceland off the ocean floor and lights the fiery volcanoes that rage across this barren land. On the hunt for clues, the investigation heads to one of Iceland's most active volcanoes, Hekla, known locally as the Gateway to Hell. Like all active volcanoes in Iceland, Hekla sits alongside the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Volcanologist Dr. Pete Lefamina is taking a high-resolution scan of the volcano to see if its geology hides any clues about its inner workings. This is a terrestrial laser scanner, and the laser produces a 3D image of the Earth's surface, and that allows us to see parts of uh, Hecla volcano here that we can't see with the naked eye. His scan reveals a giant crack or fissure running right through the center of the volcano, similar to those found in the Thingvellir Valley. But this fissure doesn't just span the width of the volcano, it extends either side along a five mile tear in the earth. It's this tear that's key to understanding how Iceland's volcanoes erupt. When Hekla erupted in the year 2000, it wasn't just the volcanic cone that exploded. The earth actually ripped open along the entire five mile length of the fissure, a weakness created by the stretching along the mid-Atlantic ridge. In the geological world, these are known as fissure eruptions. Forced open by the sheer volume of magma pushing up from below, the tear spewed out a terrifying 750 million cubic feet of molten rock an hour, flooding the land with lava. These fissure eruptions are so huge, they can change the landscape drastically in a matter of days, leaving behind mountains like these. You can see to the north here where the Earth's surface actually opened up during a fissure eruption and lava erupted out. This fissure starts to the north and extends eight kilometers through Hecla Volcano here. 
The sheer volume of magma produced can be seen very well here at Hecla Volcano, especially with these lava flows that have draped the land surface. And to me, this is really exciting because you can see very large volumes of erupted material produced over very short amounts of time. And Hecla is, is a beautiful place to study that. But what is creating the vast quantities of lava that are forced out during these eruptions? For many years, the answer remained elusive until geologists found incriminating evidence locked inside the rocks. The composition of the rocks here in Iceland is quite different than we see in other places. By taking this rock back to the lab, we can get a very good idea of under what conditions it formed, whether it formed deep within the earth or, or near the surface. This rock was once molten lava, which erupted from one of Iceland's volcanoes. Analysis of the chemicals in the rock revealed unusually high concentrations of rare earth elements lanthium and cesium, chemicals which are only found in magma with a very deep origin. It's the breakthrough scientists had been searching for. It was evidence that another, much deeper heat source was combining with the Mid-Atlantic Ridge to power the volcanoes of Iceland. The rock evidence suggested this second force lay hidden from view, deep beneath Iceland's surface. But it is possible to get a glimpse of what's happening down there. Scientists monitor the seismic waves triggered by earthquakes all over the world. As the Earth's plates move, they release shock waves, called seismic waves, that pass through the Earth's crust. These travel at a steady speed, unless they hit a region of hot rock. Then they slow down. Now, as seismic waves arrive in Iceland, they're traveling very slowly through the subsurface. And this is somewhat unique to Iceland and a few other places in the world. It tells us that there's a very hot column of rock, perhaps even some, some molten material beneath the surface. These massive columns, or plumes, are known as hot spots and are not unique to Iceland. They are found beneath certain volcanic areas in the world, like Hawaii and Yellowstone. Hotspots are these unwavering plumes of, of hot material, including molten rock, magma, that stream up to the surface from deep within the Earth. The scientists finally had a snapshot of the second force that was helping to create Iceland. The hot spot that lies beneath the island is almost 100 miles wide and 400 miles deep. It channels rock slowly upwards at temperatures over 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit. It pushes against the crust, heating the land from below and forcing magma up onto the surface as lava. The investigation has identified the two colossal forces that built Iceland the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and the deeper Icelandic hotspot. Millions of years ago, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge drifted eastwards, creeping towards the fixed Icelandic hotspot. Finally, they met and have been locked together in a deadly partnership ever since. The result? A truly formidable volcanic beast capable of creating magma on a monumental scale. As the mid-ocean ridge pulls apart, there's decompression of the material underneath it, and that creates melting. Decompression is simply removing the pressure from a pile of rock. It's much like opening a can of soda or popping the cork off of a champagne bottle. The removal of so much pressure makes the rock melt into liquid magma. And the hotspot is transporting heat directly from the interior of the Earth to the surface, which also creates melting. So this combination of decompression of existing rock beneath the surface and the direct transport of heat from the center of the Earth create a huge amount of magma. This incredible meeting of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and hotspot began to build the island beneath the waves, pushing it upwards and giving birth to Iceland.